Welcome back to Webfoot TV. We're here at Wheels Up North. We have finally got the GT86 out for something other than fixing it. Yeah. Um, although it was out yesterday, I had it down at Three Sisters for a track day. It did absolutely amazingly well. Really, really surprised me with how well it coped yeah. with it, considering all the abuse it's had. Yeah, we will do a video of it down at Three Sisters, but today yes. we're at Wheels Up North. Um, sorry if we're up both a bit squinty all day. We yeah. both forgot our sunglasses yeah. and it's really, really warm. It was uh, supposed to rain, so it's quite nice to have yeah. a bit of sun. Yeah, um, and the show looks absolutely awesome already. Yes. So we're going to wander around now and check it out. So to kick off the day, we've got Terry's 318 turbo e36 track car um, deeply cool it's very cool yeah it's um, been in practical performance car magazine so yeah cool little build it's a nice evo just a little bit further up the way yeah next to hulk smash guess, mercedes guess which number it is <laughs> oh I seven. seven yeah I, think it's seven. I don't think it's quite refined enough for an eight and nine Hey, we're right. Hey. For once. <laughs> Got a uh, 106 Rally, is it? Yes. It's pretty cool. And that is just hiding one of my favourite things I've seen so far, which is a oh, resto yeah. modded MGB GT. It's very cool. It's, it's like, um, was it a Sebring, the one that they did with the cool, like, um, front end of, like, the racing style? Yes, it was. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's really cool, that. There's, there's nothing to say whether it does or not, but I'd like to think it's got the V8 under there. Yeah, I would have thought so. With the uh, the nice big bonnet hump, I think it was the V8 that had that. Yeah. Aston DB5. Six. DB6. Six? Is it six? Yeah. This thing's deeply cool. Oh, yeah. And I've so. only just noticed it's actually also for sale. Yeah, so this is a Mitsubishi Dangan. That sounds like your next daily then, actually. <laughs> it's uh, really, really cool. Red, full red interior in it. I really like that. <laughs> yeah, that is deeply cool. And it's uh, it's quite typical of you to be such a tall gentleman looking at such a tiny yeah, car. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I just really, it's actually, right, because, because every small car that I've ever owned has more more space in it than big cars. They do. So like they're just more efficient, aren't they? Yeah. Because you've got no like center console or anything. You've got loads of like room. Big old truck. That's literally nearly as high as you stand next to that. <laughs> yeah, that's that's quite obscenely large. That. On the CRX Del Sol. D6. Nobody would fight with you on country roads in the, no, uh, in the way district if you're in you the gym. run over them. Yeah. <laughs> but move, please. TBR. Yeah. K10. That's always a colour that, I mean, pearlescent cars are never particularly pretty, but that is always one that's gotten away with it yeah. quite well. I, I think because of the wild styling on the TBRs, yeah. it just pulls it off, Yeah. not it? Uh, got a K10 Micra. Yes. Completely stuck. Happy days. Two General Lees over there. MX-5. Nice little DC-5. Yeah. I like these, um, the new shape Swifts. Yes. Quite, quite. And I actually quite rate the i20N as well. Yeah. They're supposed to be quite rapid. That, uh, do you not remember when we were on the Nürburgring, that i20N overtaking us in the Supra? <laughs> it was really quick. Was it an i20N? Yeah, it was a 20N, because it was the first time I'd seen a 20N and I never... Oh, no, that was it. We yeah. didn't even know they existed yeah. at the time, did they? Yeah. Yeah, so um, this paint job on this truck's absolutely immaculate. A bit of candy apple. Really cool. And then just tucked behind it is probably my favourite thing that I've seen so far. Yeah. Um, this for a good reason, it's got a crowd around it. So this car is, isn't even on bags, it's completely static. Yeah, it, it looks like the chassis well. is just on the floor. Yeah. Pretty special, that isn't it? <laughs> Properly Mad Max. Got Renault 5. Yeah. And it's a turbo. So, interesting fact. Mm, go on. Renault 5 GT Turbo was the first car I ever drove after I passed my test. Really? <laughs> yeah. I think I have heard that before, actually. Yeah. Nice Illegally, sport. but it was still. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Another GTS? It's GTS 4, that one, I didn't realise. So, this is a GTS with four wheel drive. Ah, so why is it not a GTR then? Because it's got an RB20 in it instead of Rather a 26. 26. Yeah, still. There really you go, kids' education with Ashley. Yeah. <laughs> They're really quite rare. 
um, and we've got a 33 GTST Nismo LMGT wheels. Yeah, they're quite nice. Those wheels are probably worth more than my car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is this? Is this Land Rover? Yeah. I think it used to be a Land Rover. <laughs> yeah. It's a Discovery. It was a Discovery as oh, well. Wow. It wasn't even a... A Defender. A Defender. So that used to be a Discovery. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's a boat? Yeah. Fair play. <laughs> yeah. A, a boat steampunk wagon Yeah. And we've thing. got a Bedford Rascal that looks very modified. I'm not sure what engine it's got in it, but... It's got sequential gearbox in it, so I imagine it's got yeah, bike Yeah, it's engine. pretty cool. It's probably a bike engine, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's cool. It's got a... Uh, whatever you'd call that type of mounting suspension. In, in, in the way. Yeah. In the way suspension. But the word's gone from my yeah. head as well. <laughs> Rather than up and down the way, yeah. it's in the way. <laughs> Got a nice clean Honda Acti. Should we get one of them? <laughs> As a, we need a shop truck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For tax purposes. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it's a commercial vehicle. <laughs> yeah. I am very fond of that grey EG. Yeah. It's it's nice, nice. nice track build that one. Has that got Porsche brakes on the front? It does indeed, yeah. That's pretty cool. And I wonder if. It'll be K20, I think, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just trying to see if it's turboed as well. Yeah, it looks like that's it. That's the intake manifold, so yeah. it's K20, K24. Yeah. I think I have seen this before. I think it might be a K24 in it. Yeah. They're nice. I would love an EG. Yeah. Yeah, really nice. Nice Evo 4. Slightly less rotten than the ones we're used to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they look quite nice when they're all in one piece. Yeah. <laughs> They'd be a wicked rally car, wouldn't they? Like, just I think high, they would. They're a revving. good chassis. Yeah. Get it with a B, probably 18 in it. Yeah. I wonder what engine it does have. Okay, so we have got a rather nice 2005 generation Mustang. Murdered out, it's got some quite nice dishy wheels on it. I always like these because they like remind me of like the generation of like PS2 games, you know, like yeah, Need for Speed Underground is. and uh, Midnight Club. Yes. And uh, yeah, just... yeah. I, I think it was a cover car of Midnight Club Three, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, very cool. Audi Quattro, which is quite difficult not to to enjoy a Quattro. A favourite of both of ours is yet another, similar to when we went to uh, Motorhub. Yeah, it's so SR20 swapped as well. A CA28 Celica. RA28. RA28. Yeah. <laughs> it gets a lot of stick for copying the Mustang, but I think it's a lucky car. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think they, they basically took the American muscle style and improved on it really, yeah. didn't they? Yeah, you can see the Mustang inspiration, can't you, with yeah, like the rear lights and everything. Yeah. But it is just, uh, it's cleaner, it's small, well, smaller. It's smaller, I think. It's more of like a compact sports car, isn't it, rather than a big old heavy muscle. Definitely. But then to the left, uh, right, well, your right, my left. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we've got Chris's. Um, is, is it Chris's now or is it John's? I Last time we checked, it was Chris's. Yeah. Anyway, ch uh, Toyota Chaser in yellow. It does look good in yellow, to be fair. And that is a fairly sizable turbo. We have a rather cool S70, S70 yeah. that one, yeah. T5. It's a lot like, of purple. I like all the um, little carbon details on it. It's cool. Yeah, yeah, that is smart. The Leica with a bail side bumper on it. That's a smart little sleeker, actually. That, I like that. Yeah. Just Next like two. Yeah. Is the, does that count as an EM1, or is it? Um, is it still an EG? It's an EG, so it'll be an EG. Oh, I have owned one of these, so I should know. You should. I think it's an EG. 
Oh, no, I don't know. It's an EG Summit. Yeah. <laughs> so I had one, I had a black Magic Edition one, which was basically, it was black. <laughs> Very imaginative name. Sounds about yeah. right, yeah. <laughs> what yeah. makes it a black Magic? And well, the, the, the reason clearly, it, The reason it, it was good was because the wiring, for some reason, was different in it. So it made it, meant that I had to just swap one less thing to put D16 in it. <laughs> okay. So it made it easier to modify. Yeah. Thanks, Honda. <laughs> I do adore the first gen Gallardo. I thought you were going to say that rat then. No! He's <laughs> <laughs> vomit on a car there. That. That's Lee Lockwood's Ford Mustang. Ah, uh -huh, yes. Please. And then we have the purple E46. Do you want my yes. camera extension? Yes, height <laughs> and elevation. That's quite a special little thing, isn't it? It's when the, uh, the diameter of your steering wheel is the same as the diameter of your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> We've got the... GT4 RS. Uh, uh, not only that, it's the cheapest GT4 RS currently for sale in the UK at £200,000. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry, 199 Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't over exaggerate. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sorry. It it's actually sits well on those. Uh, those are the... Pro drives. The wheels off the hatch, aren't they? The SCR yes, they are, hatch, actually, yeah. 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 Oh, it does look nice. It is a Type UK. What is that? Is it a cadet? Oh. Uh, I couldn't tell you. I don't, I don't think it's a Manta. It's an Opal. No idea. Opal T2000. Um, oh, it's an Opal Ascona. Ascona? Yeah. I quite like that Golf, the Mark II Golf, it's just yeah. clean. Yeah, there was a nice uh, baby blue Mark I over there as well. Yeah. Got a very nice Series 1 RS Turbo. I think it's a Series 1. You know, Fords are not our thing, are they? No, no, not really. <laughs> but I do appreciate them. And then we've got one of my dream cars is a Dodge Viper in that colour as well, that colour is just sick. The yeah. panel gaps aren't amazing. <laughs> it's in the panel gap yeah. around the front light. I suppose it is coming on for a 30, yeah. uh, 30, 40 year old car. Yeah, yeah, pink chaser. I've got one for Christian here. Yeah. Ford probe. <laughs> Very acquired taste. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. E46 M3, always a winner. 280Z. Yes, it is the larger, larger butt on it. Yeah, it's got the, it's got, it's got strange roofline. I always think they do. Yeah. They it's do. Still a nice car, but and then one twenty Y. No, that's no, Datsun Cherry, isn't it? Yes. I, I do quite like this. I know we've just said Fords aren't our thing, but I do quite like. Yeah. Uh, an I think, I think the early Escorts are just the one, aren't they? Yeah. If you're going to get a Ford, that's oh, the yeah. one you want. <laughs> I, I didn't think they made the Mexico in the estate. I thought no, it was just, I, I yeah, think it's it's just it's a, custom made. Yeah, uh, yeah. An homage. Yeah. Then this chase is really nice. It's very yeah. Clean. Yeah, it's a nice wing on the back of it. Yeah. The nicest car in the entire show. Yeah. The one and only Chrysler PT Cruiser. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, sorry, sorry, it's not. It's now for a Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Super old school, like rally tires, yes. right, aren't they? Like proper. Like period correct tires on it. That's cool. I don't remember. <laughs> did, these, did these have the VR4 in them? So Maybe the later ones. Two liter turbo. I two liter turbo. Yeah, yeah. It's got dog box in it. It's built uh, near here as well, Arnside Motorsport. Yeah. And we've got Evo. You're gonna guess? I think it's a six. Five. Five. Uh, oh yeah, it's a six. It's Tommy Matt. Oh, is it? Wonder if that's the one that you overtook in the ignition. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I don't remember the reg of it. I know it was white and I know you passed it. Yeah, no, I can't remember either. New Supra. Supra, it looks good on those work in motion wheels, yes, doesn't it? Really it does nice. actually. Um, it's not the not the usual style of work in motion I quite enjoy, but it does work with that yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the carbon, all the carbon accents on it are really yeah. cool, like this uh, side panel and the mirrors and stuff. Yeah, it's done nicely actually. Some kind of custom pickup. Uh, That's pretty it's cool. Morris, is it a Morris Minor? Yeah, it could well be. Yeah, A45. So, one for Neil Wood. 
Although he probably wouldn't like it because he likes some original, doesn't he? Yeah, it's, got, it's got fat V8 in as well, I wasn't even looking at that. Oh. <laughs> Big Edel Rock. Nice clean Capri. Yes. And a very smart little black DC2. Yeah. Looks immaculate, that DC2. It does. Isn't it? It's quite nice to see one with the B series still in it, yeah. isn't it? Like, yeah, they're popular for a swap. Just a clean classic there as well. Yeah. Yeah, I really do love the classic STIs. Yeah. There's a Z32 300 ZX. See that quite a lot of shows around here. It's, re it's a nice car, but yeah. The brakes on that are massive, aren't they? K Spot, sorry. Oh, I haven't seen that, yeah. Yeah, K Spot, eight pots. Yeah. And then Evo eight? seven, eight, yeah. Yeah, because that's got the later yeah, grill. Yeah, yeah. And then this uh, Mark One. I think it's a 180 Mark One. 180 swatch. And then a sort of smart FN2. 180 swatch Mark Two. Z3 Coupe. Yeah, Z3. No over SR, no you don't SR. see them anymore. Rare as hen's teeth, man. Yeah. Paid 20 quid for mine. Yeah. <laughs> Got an old E28 oh, nice. M5, I think it is. I'll trust you on that. And then we've got a nice, very clean OEM spec R30 <laughs> 3 GTR. Oh, that's on ITBs. Yeah, so it's got, that's an M16 swap out of a 306 GTR. Is it? On, yeah, Web, on Weber's calves. That would be uh, I bet rapid. That sounds absolutely awesome. A couple of Renault GT turbos. Yeah. Very cool. And a Saab. A meaty Saab. This, uh, one of my, my personal favourites is this Karcher 190E. Oh, yeah. That's so DTM, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This, this mic, uh, K11 Micro. I think it's a, I don't know if it's a 1.3, uh, if it's a 1 litre or a 1 floor turbo, but it's turboed. Uh, mm. it's proper immaculate, that, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's really done cool. well. A load of nice Gizfab. Lots of Gizfab bits. On it. And it, and it's my front splitter on it. Pretty sick. Then Next to Sleeker. Uh, ST205, yeah. 225, 205. Evo. <laughs> Another eight slash nine. I think it's an eight slash nine. Yeah. <laughs> then this is Ian Brooks. I think it's Rotrex supercharged S2000. I could be wrong. It might be mm. turbo. I don't know. But again, some very nice big Brembo brakes on it. Yeah. In fact, the entire car is very nice. It's, That's yeah, really it's cleanly done. Though. Really set, nice to set up that, isn't it? Really cool front bumper on it. I'm not sure what the front bumper is, but it's cool as fuck. I think this is an R34 GTT that's been GTR kid. Yeah. I think. Could be wrong. I'm sorry if it's not. Yeah. <laughs> I apologise for offending you. <laughs> this uh, Who doesn't it, love Advans? That look, it just looks sick on those Advans, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, really you can see cool. your entire caliper through yeah. the gap. That yeah. is very, very cool. Yeah, really. Wonder if he intentionally lined them up there. <laughs> yeah, bro. So. <laughs> Jacked it up and spun his wheels. Yeah. Right. If it's the same on the other side, then yes. Yeah. yeah Ooh, oh, nearly. No, nearly. <laughs> very nearly. Big ass turbos on the back of it. Pretty yeah. alright. That's got Cosworth. That is a uh, that is one Ford I would definitely yeah. own. I do like the RS yeah. Cosworth. With the whale tail. Yeah. Then another. That's a nice Mexico. Super wide Mexico. Cosworth swap in it. Hell yeah. That chaser has been RB swap. It's got Skyline engine in it. Oh yeah. The 306 Max is one of the few few Peugeots I would entertain. Yeah, it's it's a really cool looking car. That yeah. Is. And they went like absolute stink as well. Yeah. 
That is very cool. And it is right next to the complete opposite of it. So we've gone from extreme speed, no comfort, to no speed, all the comfort. Yeah. So even though it's got a V, V12. V12, yeah. yeah it uh, yeah. probably weighs about five tons, yeah. doesn't it? This is like, for me, this is like, if I was going to get a big old cruiser, this is yeah. what I'd have. It's the I ultimate it's luxury. Super cool. Like, it's, it's, I think it's partially because it's just so Japanese looking yes. as well. Like, Absolutely. It literally, just everything in it just screams Japan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like, crystal glass. Like, so you can sit in the back seat and put the, the middle of the front seat down so you can put your legs through oh, yeah. and just chill out, recline your seat. You've got little footrests in the bottom. Designed entirely for your passenger comfort. Yeah. It's a, it's a chauffeur car, isn't yeah, it? Really? Screen in the middle, which is pretty mad for a car yeah. that just came out in the end of like midnight. All your electronic heating and uh, controls for the back seats, let alone the front. Yeah. Your decanters in the back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just really, really sick, that is. And then. Uh, I love how they make sure that you won't obstruct your rear passenger's view as yeah. well. <laughs> yeah. And of course, need to show the support. <laughs> okay, so that was Wheels Up North. I, it's, to be honest, it's the most I've enjoyed a car show in a while. Yeah, actually. yeah. It was really good. There was a, such a massive variety of mm. stuff and um, just some like really high, you know, like yeah. caliber stuff. Yeah, there's some unique stuff that we've never, never really seen before. Yeah, one of the good things about the show was um, you have to actually enter to get into the show field. Yes. So it's not just full of like, just your Whatever average rocks car. Up, yeah. Which uh, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with your average cars, but no. you don't come to a car show to look at no. stuff that you see in yeah, supermarket. Yeah, so there's been a, been a bit of a vetting process. So yeah. you know what you're going to be seeing is pretty good stuff. Yeah, so yeah, highly recommend Wheels Up North. This is their first show that they've ever had at yes. the County Showground near Kendall. And, uh, we'll definitely be coming back next year and we're going to try and arrange our own stand, I think. Yeah. So if you want to get in touch with us, um, We'd like to do features on people's cars again because we always really enjoy filming them. Yeah. So if you want to uh, have a chat with us about getting a feature of your car done on the channel, and then maybe later on next year we can have a look at getting everyone together for a stand. Yeah. Yeah. So um, yeah, if you want to do that and apply to be featured, give us a message anywhere on our email, Instagram. Facebook, Instagram. It's all in the description down below if you want to check it out. Um, but for now, we're going to enjoy the rest of the day and the sun, um, and we'll catch you in the next one.